Welcome back, folks. It is a sensational Sunday. I'm Josephine Sage. Let's chat about the weather. Weather headlines, we're looking at snow still kind of lingering, still moving through those northern regions. Soon it will kind of be towards that front range area or just kind of disperse into those higher, uh, well, atmosphere elevations. We've got double digit accumulations from this past storm expected through those same northern regions and even through some of those higher elevations, southern areas, San Juan's, Telluride, Steamboat Springs, Aspen, uh, even Vail Pass is looking at quite a bit of some fresh snow. But don't fret, we've got a slow warm up expected as we jump into the rest of Sunday, into Monday, into Tuesday, into Wednesday even when we'll be a few degrees above those seasonal averages. So a little bit of a switch up in terms of those temperatures as some sunshine also returns. But before that happens, I want to remind you, if you have travel plans, if you're headed home or just headed out and about, especially down that I-70 corridor, Colorado's chain law has been active since the beginning of September and will stay active until the end of May. I know I keep saying, I know I keep reminding you, but drive safe on those roads between milepost 133 and 259. You have to have those sufficient chains, four-wheel drive vehicle, or really, really good snow tires. Myself, Western Slope, I don't have the best uh, car for the snow, but I'm always driving slow, always being cautious of those drivers around me, and I'm going to remind you to do that as well. We'll notice as we take a look at what happened today, we still have that Pacific Northwest low that was pushing on down over the Great Basin to kind of deepen that moisture, especially over those northern areas that I mentioned, especially even through central Utah, through Park City, through Salt Lake City. Still some showers, some snow showers at that hanging around. We'll notice that that's still due to the same low pressure trough that kind of was deepening over the state of Colorado, but will very, very quickly get pushed on out as some sunshine returns as of, well, tomorrow. And alongside that little bit of an increase in temperatures, this high pressure ridge is at least sticking around with us for the work week. We're going to jump back up towards those seasonal averages, like I mentioned, even a few degrees above them. We'll notice our seasonal averages, we're matching right up with them today. 43 on the high end of things is what we're typically used to, and that's what we hit. Low end of things, 24 instead of that typical 21. So still sub-freezing ranges can be seen, but we'll notice as we kind of take a look at those driving tips, still even though those warmer temperatures are doing it, well, quote unquote, warmer temperatures during those afternoon hours. Drive safe, uh, avoid travel if you can. Don't slam on those brakes and of course, pack patience. Now, there is that slow increase in temperatures as we take a look about a week out. 33% chance above normal temperatures for the Grand Valley. So that means those mid 40s, but we'll notice in Discovery Auto Group's seven day, well, four day forecast, extended forecast, we're jumping a few degrees above those seasonal averages. Wednesday, Thursday, even 50s can be seen, but sub freezing ranges still on that low end of things are here to stay. There are some winter events coming up this month, and don't forget to check the Grand Junction event website to see what's coming up. Try and get outside, enjoy the sunshine as we kind of jump into the first week of December, because you know, winter is just around the corner. We're gonna start getting colder, we're gonna start getting cloudier, we're gonna start getting, well, snowier. Now, Montrose, few degrees cooler, mid 20s for those lows, mid 40s as we start the work week, but slowly increasing through the middle of the work week. Keep those winter jackets out. It's going to stay cold, but we can look forward to some sunshine. Woo! No.